This is the most militant clan organization in the country, the Invisible Empire Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. And it is the biggest. Gone are the pretenders to the throne. David Duke has quit the clan. Robert Shelton of Alabama only has a small following, we are told. And James Venable of Stone Mountain, Georgia. Well, Imperial Wizard Bill Wilkinson of Denham Springs, Louisiana, the leader who is unifying the fragmented groups under one banner, has this to say about him. Mr. Venable is one of the uh, grand old clansmen from the past. I think he fought a good fight, uh, but his organization has simply just disappeared. Wilkinson looks like a young congressman. He often wears three-piece suits, sometimes travels in his own plane, and speaks well. He has, or at least had, a top-secret government clearance. He says he served on a nuclear submarine for eight years. He's taken over most of the Klan organizations and is organizing in Georgia right now. Well, I know you're in Ringgold. Where else are you? Uh, Augusta, Columbus, uh, Macon area, Atlanta. You do have a clavern in Atlanta? Almost. What do you mean almost? <laughs> what, what, what is an almost clap? <laughs> We're close to having one there. We have some members and they are working uh, to organize it. One of Bill Wilkinson's Klegels has been organizing the Klan in Wrightsville, in Toomsboro, Georgia. And this man, Fred Tyrell, is soon to be promoted to Grand Titan in Ringo. Do you foresee any time when you yourself would, uh, would call for violence for any reason? Only, only in a defensive uh, movement. Just, that's the only way that I'd condone violence. Uh, if, if I'm attacked or if you're attacked as an individual, you, you know, it's only, it's only nature to uh, protect yourself. And, and that's, you know, the way I would be uh, as uh, any officer or as any Klansman or as an individual. Tomorrow night, we'll take a look at a longtime Klan leader in Georgia, one who Bill Wilkinson claims is fading away.